Hello everyone, and welcome back to Sun Moss Clan, here in Warrior Cat's Clan Generator, where I am still reeling from what has just happened. As you guys know from the previous episode, we are still in the middle of one of the first days of Leaf Bear, and uh, there's already been a ton going on. So, I'm still trying to like collect myself with the fact that Ash Shadow, who literally had just given up being a medicine cat against Star Clan's protest because he wanted to use his excellent fighting skills, he was an excellent fighter, to go out and be able to fight off the last of the remaining rogues, stealing it from the territory, and leave behind the medicine cat role that he had been forced into when he was younger so that he could be a warrior. But he tried to cross a underpath, was thinking about his kits and was thinking about how he could take care of them if he could maybe like gather more prey because we still need a ton of prey for, for this moon or else cats are going to start getting sick and I'm going to have to start using one of our newest generators which is the oh no not enough fresh kill for the clan. I mean look at this like warriors could go with that experience, queens could get sick, we could end up having like kids die of starvation. <laughs> So legitimately, Ash Shadow was thinking about what could he do to make it better for the clan. So he tried to cross a Thunderpath and got hit by a monster. My heart breaks for him. He broke up with his mate Blue Nettle as a result because he's just feeling really bitter, doesn't want to be around anyone. He doesn't want to be around his kits right now because he feels like this is punishment from Star Clan. I think Star Clan didn't make that happen, but some of Star Clan is like, I told you so, I told you so, you couldn't turn your back on being a medicine cat, it's a sacred duty. And some of Star Clan I think would just be upset for him and not be happy about this turn of events because he could have been an excellent provider for the clan. Um, and now I, we rolled a dice and he cannot leave the Elder's Den to return to his medicine cat duties until he is actually able to make it to Greenleaf. So this sucks. <laughs> This sucks because now Ash Shadow's paralyzed. Uh, he can't bring in any food. I guess I should roll the dice to see if we now need even more food for Leaf Bear. Please no. All right, let me go ahead and grab this one. Which one should I grab? This one. All right. Unfortunately, we now need three more pieces of food the entire time that he is paralyzed in the Elder's Den. Until, so Ash Shadow, we now need three more pieces of prey until Greenleaf, and then we'll say that he is good enough uh, to go back to the medicine cat den. Oh, that makes our life a lot harder. Oh my gosh. However, I will say that Ash Shadow may have a glimmer of hope because here was my idea, guys. I thought that was so tragic for a cat that is so young and that had such a special prophecy as a hero of our clan back when we found him as a baby in the forest that here's the deal. If we're able to go ahead and behind the scenes, if we're able to go ahead and make Golden Stripes experience raise to master level, which would take a lot of time, he would have to get taught more by Star Clan because now we're starting to give him experience points that I edit into the save files um, at the end of every turn. Uh, like we can give him experience from Star Clan, and he can get a little bit of experience from gathering some of the herbs on his own at the end of every moon, but he can't get huge bursts of experience like he could if he was a warrior going out on lots of patrols. So his experience will rise over time. Oh, and he also gets experience if we successfully heal a cat. Oh, I can't believe I'm actually hoping for illness now. <laughs> Because I forgot about that. If Golden Stripe heals a cat, he gets a huge boost of experience. And so if he ever gets up to master level, here is one of my plot ideas. If he can get up to master level, I don't think that Ash Shadow's fate is a fair one. And I think that Golden Stripe would do his best to find a way to heal Ash Shadow. And then Ash Shadow can resume his role in whatever he feels is right be it medicine cat, be it warrior, be it loner, whatever Ash Shadow wants for his future, Golden Stripe is going to see happen for his former mentor and for being able to fight against fate. 
So even if a lot of Star Clan is probably telling Golden Stripe, you know, this is the consequence of Ashadow leaving being a medicine cat, I think Golden Stripe is going to try to be like the golden, like what, the golden cut against fate or something and change Ashadow's fate. So he's gonna wanna really build up his experience. And as a result, I think he's gonna go ahead and, oh, if we have patrols go out with him, he'll get experience from that as well. If he can do some of the herb collecting patrols with the rest of the clan. Fingers crossed one day he could get to uh, master level on that. So yeah, there's a lot going on and I have a lot of special events, like the fact that Light Ear, oh, oh and she's got the little scar and everything. Oh, hang in there, Light Ear. And she's still feeling down. <laughs> But like the fact that Light Ear is in a secret relationship with the very last of the four like rogues stealing prey from their territory. She feels really torn up about that. And at the end of the moon, there's a chance she could have kits with that rogue. There's a chance she could convince that rogue to join the clan, but I think the clan would actually be really against that right now. So maybe she'd decide she wanted to run away with that rogue, maybe? We'd have to see. Uh, or there's a chance that like some of the clan will find out that she's been seeing a rogue. Uh, the rogue, no less. Like capital letters, the rogue. Um, and that could cause her a lot of problems, like losing experience. Maybe she would lose her excellent speaker or her playful personality. Maybe she would like be banished to the elder's den in punishment for a few seasons. We'd have to see. So yeah, Lightyear still in a relationship with the last rogue. There's a lot going on and we still need food for the clan because we had to split the moon because uh, the turn, I should say, okay, the moon, because there's so much happening. Oh, and now we have Duchess, by the way, who's very confident, former kitty pet. Yes, I know I've been stealing the mice from your territory, but there were plenty for everyone. It's not like you guys starved. And uh, it's so cold now. And since my house folk moved away, I might as well make myself comfortable. So Duchess has settled in. I don't know if she's gonna be any good. Let's go ahead and send her out on a patrol, just because I think the hostility in the clan might make her a little bit, a little bit anxious. So it's snowing. Uh, it's kind of the patrol is kind of outside in the snow and doesn't manage to hunt. <laughs> Oh, I don't think she likes the snow at all, you guys. But let's see if, uh, like, I know it was supposed to be a hunting thing. I mean, I guess that's not even, I guess technically I should just take that as like the random generator set or the text said she wasn't able to hunt. If she had been able to hunt, it would have been three pieces of prey. All right, Duchess, we're going to say she just wasn't able to hunt that time because that was the event that popped up and it seems fair to say that. Meanwhile, uh, Blue Nettle, strong connection to Star Clan. Still in the nursery, because we still don't have the apprentices. She can't go out. Uh, Lark Hill Queen, Volhart Queen as well. Sweet Patch, we'll go ahead and send Sweet Patch out. Since we need so much food, I think we're going to send out individuals today. All right, Sweet Patch goes out. He interprets the purpose of a two-leg object. Good job, Sweet Patch. How much experience do you have? I don't think it's a lot. It's still low. But hey, low's better than very low. Woo, and he brought back the maximum amount of prey he could have today. Good job, Sweet Patch. Yes, I'm so proud of him. Uh, all right, and hopefully that'll cheer up Speckle Flood too, his mate who has lost a leg. Uh, all right, then let's go ahead. Shadow Paw, who is your mentor? is Sweet Patch. All right, we'll send out Shadowpaw on their own. <gasps> Shadowpaw just came across the group of four bloodthirsty rogues. No. Okay, so the last rogue and Shadowpaw is going to have to run away. So we're going to, she's going to run back home and then we're going to add to our notes. I have to modify these notes with a lot of the plot, but hang on. Shadowpaw was out on one of her uh, first solo hunting missions to try to prove she is ready for her warrior cat ceremony when she came across the last of the blood thirsty rogues. She ran for her life and felt deep uh, shame that she wasn't able to gather the much needed prey for the clan. Oh man. Because every every piece of prey we're missing it represents one cat, represents one roll of that generator to see what might happen. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's terrifying. Golden Stripe, that is not how I want you to get experience. All right, back to the patrol. Oh no, we were down to so few cats. 
Oh, man. I might have to send the queens out, but then I think we would have to roll to see if their kits get sick. Oh, boy. All right, Gold Belly, come on. You're a good hunter. Strange object. Smells of two legs. However, Gold Belly... Oh, you have very low experience. Dang it. All right. Oh, but you brought home a little bit of prey. We're almost there. We just need a little bit more prey. Please? Please? Oh, man. And such Speckle could... He brought home almost nothing compared to what he could have. So I think the clan is still like... And he's bringing home all of these rogues. What is going on? Holly Paw, you are fierce. You are actually an average hunter. A loner interested in joining the clan. That's the last rogue. Oh my gosh. <laughs> A senior adult. Literally all of the rogues just joined the clan. Vengeful former loner. I don't know if we're gonna get along with all of these cats. Dang it! And now we're gonna have to say that those were not the rogues that, like, that the, there was one more rogue, we'll say, that was with them that Lightyear had fallen in love with, and now he's run off because literally all of the girls just joined the clan. Oh my gosh. I feel like because these cats stole from us, like, one, two, three females. I think we're gonna have to roll for an entire season until each of these cats have been here for a season and we're going to have to see if they get up to mischief because especially like Lark Hill acting suspicious she's been here one moon so she's still got three more moons so I'm gonna put that down uh, so that was actually Holly Paw did she gather any food while she was out Oh, she gathered a lot of food. We're almost there. We're almost to the amount of prey we need. Thank goodness. <laughs> All right. So Holly Paw went out to hunt and had an excellent hunting session. Uh, he, sorry, he is a natural hunter. When he stumbled on the last rogue again uh, that Shadow Paw had just found and managed to convince the rogue to let's say yeah, rogue uh, the last rogue why i've typed the words rogue so many times there we go thank you it wasn't looking right anymore to join the clan just like his father sedge speckle had offered the others but now we have a new drama but uh, is the clan really safe harboring all of these rogues? Oops, sorry, harboring all of these rogues during Leaf Bear? Or are all the rogues simply using the clan to do all the hard, the hard work of surviving during the cold season? Will they leave as soon as the weather warms or will they cause terrible trouble while they are here oh boy this is where i wish we could have the um relationship generator that i have not yet made because it'd be interesting to see if they actually develop a relationship with any of the cats in the clan oh okay they're so suspicious so lark hill i think what we'll do is um yeah lark hill has two moons left of being sus. And then if they're sus, I roll a dice to see if they get up to something sus. And then we'll have to just adjust based off of what plots are going on, what that sus thing is. Duchess has four moons left of being sus. And then the final one, Starling Whisper. Looks amazing. Looks amazing. I don't think, a, oh, a young, ambitious male like Gold Belly. <laughs> oh, I love her coat. I wonder if, like, the kits that we have have relationships to the coats or not. Do they? 
Because I would love to know if that actually has an association. I could see the confident former kitty pet duchess actually wrapping poor little Goldpaw around her fingers. Um, depending on if Bloompaw, who's about to become a warrior, does want a relationship with Goldpaw or not. This is all quite dramatic, but I could actually see Duchess doing that to kind of solidify her position in the clan. What? So Duchess, she's got, yeah, Four Moons and Starling whisper a fierce vengeful fighter with a grudge against the world and leader let's see and leader of their little band of cats uh has four moons left of being sus oh word okay duchess might make a move on young gullible Gull, like literally, gullible. He's literally gullible. <laughs> Gull belly, in order to solidify her position in the clan. I think we'll go ahead and I'll actually make that happen. Gull belly is now considered an adult by clan standards, and I could totally see Duchess being that sneaky peek. Absolutely. All right, so we'll go ahead. She'll wrap little gold belly around her paws, uh, and we'll see what happens. All right, still need some food, by the way, you guys. <laughs> oh, I have to leave it up to the paws to handle now, because uh, we've got one, two, three queens. Pale flame, you're not currently a queen, are you? No, you're not. Okay, I've got enough cats for this. All right, low experience with pale flame. A loner, another loner? No, we have so many. No. <laughs> Literally, what is going on? And now, oh, come on. She found a, okay, we're going to say he's a little lost cat, a lost apprentice. Uh, we're going to say he's from another clan, but from a faraway clan who got kidnapped by two legs, but then they abandoned slash he ran away again. And Dopaw came in and he looks up to Pale Flame. His mentor is literally Barry Star. So Dopaw just came in. Oh my gosh. Dopaw, come on. Like, what is, oh. Well, out in the snow, how are we going to survive next leaf bear? This is really getting a kind of intense, guys. Well, out in the snow... Oh, okay. Pale Flame stumbles on a frozen, half-dead young cat named Dopa, who was lost and far from home. Okay, now I've fallen in love with Dopa. Oh, my goodness. Who was lost and far from home. He had been kidnapped from his far away clan by two legs and then abandoned in the forest when they grew bored of, of him. Uh, Pale Flame couldn't leave him to starve even though there are far too many mouths to feed this leaf bear and not enough skilled cats to get lots and lots of prey. And Barry Star ended up forgiving her for the new edition and taking Do Pa under her own her own wing, partially because the gentle young apprentice soothed Barry Star's heart about the loss of Moon Pa. There we go. Who had been Barry Star's apprentice? Ah. And he's compassionate, so I, I mean, come on, all right, fine. But will somebody, did we bring back any food? We brought back another mouth to feed. How much experience did you have, Pale Flame? Pale Flame, oh man, now I have to go between pages. This is just so silly. You went on patrol, you found yourself a son, I guess. Uh, maybe like an adopted son. Uh, Pale Flame, who has been lonely and sad since her mate died. Uh, and it still grieves the loss of her child log kit. Ah! Oh, she absolutely couldn't like turn away Dopa. Has decided to adopt Dopa as a son of her own, even if he is a old is old enough, just barely, to be out of the nursery. Oh, oh, pill flame. Oh, I love how the stories are just coming together like that. Don't love how we don't have food, though. <laughs> Dopa, could you please bring us some food? All right, off you go, patrol. A kitty pet 
Oh, he's compassionate. So he would ask. Okay, good. His description of clan life frightened the kitty pad away. I had to do it, even though I legitimately did not want to, because he would try to be compassionate towards this kitty pad. All right, and the good news is he does know how to hunt a little bit, so he did bring back enough food. Yes, I am so relieved and also a little disappointed because I wanted Golden like Stripe to be able to get some experience, actually, you know. Well, he can go out on patrols with the cats. All right, so... Now I can go out on patrol. I'd be scared to send him out with Starling Whisper on her own, just to be completely honest. Uh, I think Starling Whisper, but at the same time, we need all of the medicine that we can get, right? Okay, so let's go out with Nervous Nightpaw first. And we're going to send them out alone because you get more experience that way. And if we're not able to follow through on whatever the patrol runs into, I cannot roll to see if we gathered any herbs. But if we are able to, I can roll to gather herbs. Scent of a hare, yes! And they catch the hare! Woo, good job, Nightpaw, I'm so proud of you! Now I can go ahead, whoops, sorry about that. Oh, I have so many windows open. Oh, this is playing with fire. All right, so now, oh, I don't need a visit to the medicine cat's den. I need to go ahead. And I need to have, is it this one? Yeah, what was found while searching for herbs? One poppy seed. Okay, not as much as I was hoping for, but we will add one poppy seed. Oops, so now we have three. And that means that Golden Stripe will get another little jolt of experience soon. Yay! Okay, so let's go back to our cats. Patrol. We're going to go ahead and send out Long Paw, very low experience, a loner interested in joining the clan. No, don't do it. Okay, good. The clan, is, they, they decide not to join. Uh, but you know what? Proceeding with that kind of stuff does give our cats experience, and it's kind of a harmless source of experience. So that's good for our, our apprentice. All right, and we found four yarrow leaves. Good. Oh, I'm so relieved, especially because things are probably going to be terrible next time, and we're probably going to need to have just so much so much of the um the cats get sick because there's gonna be so much fresh kill issues there's too many cats all right then i think we can send off two more so we'll send off bloom paw and send off a fox okay so we can't proceed we're not going to pursue because that's too dangerous for a lone apprentice and a medicine cat and then finally starling whisper vengeful snowing but she still managed to get the hunt done. I think that Golden Stripe was nervous, so sick to his stomach with nerves the whole time. But eight water mint leaves. Ooh, oh no, she's turned out to be somewhat useful. And she's turned out to be somewhat skilled. Because she knew where to find that water mint. I wonder if they went a little bit outside of the territory, just in case. But all right, so now that that is done, we have gone on patrol with everybody we can, thank goodness. And we're gonna go ahead and we are actually going to have Golden Stripe go on his own patrol. He has how much experience at the moment? He is slightly low, so I still have to roll one of the small dice for him, but he found five of anything we want. Let's go with juniper berries right now because the stores of, oh wait, well, could go with poppy seeds, but juniper berries come up more often and you need more of them than poppy seeds. So we'll go with that. And he just gained a ton of experience because we had so many extra cats to be able to send him out on patrol. Yay, woohoo, what a moon. Oh, it took us two turns that time. Now, let's go ahead. I think we're going to have a bunch of apprentices pop up. Let nothing else more dramatic happen, please. The, the shocked silence was me being like, Oh, fudge. <laughs> I was worried something a lot. Oh my gosh. I was worried that something a lot more dramatic happened. Oh, so this is interesting. Speckle Flood actually earned a scar fighting a rat. So I'm going to roll to give her, oh, that's six. I'm going to roll to give her more experience. And that just goes to show, even if she's in the Elder's Den, she can totally defend this clan. Long Paw is now Long Face. That's hilarious. Shadow Paw is now Shadow Watcher. Night Paw is now Night Stripe. Holly Paw is now Holly Tree. Scorch Paw 
Sky Paw, Flash Paw, Jagged Paw uh, are all apprentices. Bloom Paw has become Bloom Patch as a warrior, and Bloom Patch just learned some new moves from Sedge Speckle. What? I will go ahead and I will randomize some moves from him, and I will add those to her um, to her custom edit. So Bloom Patch, wow. So I think that's worth like all of that is worth noting. And there we go. Sorry, I had to write it down on my paper. I think all of that is worth noting. So, Speckle Flood, let's just put that down here real quick. Speckle Flood was, okay, actually we should probably note, although there are so many new cats in the clan, uh, everyone was thankfully able to gather enough fresh kill to feed, uh, to eat this moon at least but will their luck hold oh dear i mean will it and then um let's see the cats are wary of inviting any new cats into the clan at this point oh and we still have to roll for mischief oh dear and then let's see speckle flood despite being in the elder's den was able to fight off a rat that could have hurt the kits she gained lots of experience from that. I'm so proud of her. Uh, she, we're going to say she gained a lot of confidence from proving she can still fight when it matters. And she is able to help defend the camp. Yay! And then also, uh, Bloompaw came of warrior age as Bloompatch and has enough innate talent that Sag Speckle has taken an interest in training her with some special moves. So she gained an experience bonus. There we go, that I already rolled for and wrote down. That is all very interesting. Now, let us go ahead, stare at our clan, which has grown so much, and we must roll for a few new things. Sadly, we can no longer roll for poor Light Ear, possibly being able to find a mate of her own with that loan or with that rogue because he has run off, which is quite sad. I guess I could roll to see if he ran off and left her with any kits, but he did not, even if she had been able to do that. Um, and then we also need to roll for mischief. That's right. All right. Are we going to have any mischief? from dun, 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 Lark Hale, who's talking to herself. I'm gonna go ahead and roll for mischief. No mischief this time. All right, Lark Hale. Her kits are doing fine. Oh, gold kits whining to long face. That's cute. Duchess, are you, who now has gotten poor gold belly in your paws, causing mischief? She is not. All right. And Starling Whisper, sad you couldn't spend more time with Fallen Star? You're putting on a good face for someone who is also not having any mischief. Well, I felt like a 25% chance of mischief was high, but apparently not. But alright guys, thank you so much for joining me today. A lot happened. There's a lot going on, as always. If you guys could, do please leave a like for our Sun Moss Clan. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!